Some exciting bags we have from 511 Tactical are the Rush Moab Packs. Rush Moab stands for a Mobile Operation Attachment Bag. And the idea for these came out of a product development meeting we did, where guys were saying, you know what, I want a bag that I can work in a tiered system or a tiered format, meaning I've got my primary pack, and then I want to have a smaller detachable bag that I can take off uh, for when I move up to f uh, for forward observation, or if I'm going to just go hiking on a trail with my family, or if I travel for training and I go to the hotel room with my larger bag, I want to uh, leave that one behind at the hotel room and then have something for just kicking around town and or to carry my camera. Uh, and some snacks. So this is kind of what you know uh, drove us to make the Moab, Moab series of uh, packs and bags. Uh, we're going to be launching these in two colorways. We have sandstone, which is you, what you see here, and we also have black. An overview of the bag, you're going to notice that there's a lot of similarities to these bags to our existing Rush packs. So up at the top, you notice I have a carry handle. Um, going down the front and all three sides, I have web platform, so I can customize this pack to meet my needs by attaching additional pouches. And then I also have it on the uh, carry strap as well. One of the things we wanted to do to differentiate our packs from other people in the marketplace is that it seemed like when we looked at the competition, pretty much everybody else was set up for right-handed users only. And we wanted a bag that could be ambidextrous, uh, both in how it's carried and in functionality. So what we have here is a shoulder strap that can uh, detach from here. And if you want to go to a left-handed carry system, then I can just simply roll this piece up, tuck it away, and then I can pull out the left-handed strap uh, that I can use right here. Again, when I'm not in use, I can detach that and then roll it up and it tucks away, hidden and out of sight. Keeping with our Rush series of packs and the theme there, we have our, uh, our padding in the back with our ventilation uh, vertically and horizontally, and we also have our tacky rubber, so when it's on your back, it doesn't slip around or slide. And we also have a place that I can access from the left or the right side for hydration. We have a rigid plate in the back here to give you some stability. And if you don't want that in there, you can remove that and take it out if you like. Your hydration valve or hydration pouch can attach to the top, and then your hydration valve will pass through the hole here. And then we have a port on top that can open up, and then your hydration valve can pass through the channel behind the comms pocket and come on down. The commas pocket we designed uh, to do a couple of things. Uh, one, I could you, you know attach additional accessories or flashlights or whatever I want to carry in here. But we also left a place in here um, with an eyelet, so that way if I want to use this as a comms pocket, put a radio in here or just a, a smartphone, I can pass the earbuds through here and run that wire on up. It stays discreet, and I can now listen to whatever I need to, to hear over the uh, over the earbud. Staying consistent with our Rush series of packs. We've also included a felt line or fleece line pocket right on top where it's a great easy access place for my sunglasses. It's not going to scratch the lenses. I can also insert a smartphone in here or anything else. I don't have to worry about scratching the, the screen. On both the left and the right side, we also have compression straps. And on the bottom, we've also included an additional strap uh, for, you know, for you to roll up and attach your, uh, your windbreaker or a soft shell jacket or even a small uh, bed roll. Up in the front, we have a Velcro uh, name tape. We can attach uh, a patch for your name and also a 3x3 three three Velcro patch for a flag patch or morale patch. Up in the front, we also have our admin pocket. We have two shove it pockets. You can tell they're large enough for AR mags if you need to uh, put those in there. But we also included spots for things like business cards, uh, pens, highlighters, keychain fobs, and another zipper pocket in here for whatever else you might want to include. Now the Moab is designed to be carried, again, left or the right side, but one of the nice things about this pack is that when I decide to use this, all I have to do is, well, and first of all, I'll just give you the silhouette, you can tell it's a smaller, uh, smaller style bag, just grab it and spin it around, and now I can work out of this bag like a workstation right in front of me. I'm going to do the compression strap, and now I can get right inside. All the pockets on the inside are designed to be accessed again from the left to the right, so the pockets here can just tear open and they're overlapping pockets. So again, from the top or the bottom. I also have zipper pockets that I could get into from here or from here. Or that could be a complete pass through if I need to. And the nice feature about this bag is the uh, hidden weapon pocket. So again, I've just spun the bag around in front of me, tear this open, and come out with my sidearm. Now you notice this is a full frame Glock 17. 
Uh, so there is plenty of room inside of here to carry a full-size uh, pistol. And then it tucks out of the way when not in use. So again, I can spin this bag around and it's, it's uh, everyday carry. So again, this is the, uh, the Rush Moab 10 in sandstone coming out in two colorways, sandstone and black.